The education itself the is a problem has been watered down. The quality of education has been affected. When you go to some of these secondary schools, the dormitories, the, the facilities, the toilet facilities. I mean, it's the whole thing, implementation from top to bottom, is a complete disaster and is in shambles. And these are people who told us they could read and they were more smarter than, quote, unquote, the NDC people, right, who are now saying that review means cancel. You understand? So apparently they couldn't even speak or comprehend English back when they were bragging. So these are just a bunch of braggarts. <laughs>
bits and pieces of what is happening with everybody in every sector so that we have a picture or a picture review of how the nation is doing. So tomorrow, he's, he's, as president, he's going to offer his last but one address in parliament. Let's see how it's going to go. I'll start off with the, the way you're looking at me. You want me to start with you or something? <laughs> <laughs> Doc, you want to go first? It doesn't matter. Professor Dr. Luis, yes, <laughs> okay, let me have you go first. Um, um, is this something that you want to hear too, maybe, or there is more? Well, I don't think there's anything we want to hear from uh, President Akufuado anymore. I think he has clearly demonstrated that he's more incompetent than the people that he called incompetent. Um, based on his own criteria, he mentioned agriculture. Right now, today, I mean, tell me what is happening with agriculture. What happened to the planting for uh, food and jobs? He mentioned manufacturing. Today, tell me what is the current state of the manufacturing in Ghana? Mm -hmm. What happened to one district, one factory? He mentioned corruption. His administration has been the most corrupt since the inception of Ghana from Kwame Nkrumah to today. President Akufuado's government has been the most corrupt on all corruption <coughs> indexes, indices, right? He mentioned the economy. This was a, a man who came to tell us, vote for me and I will bring you the economic messiah, the whiskey, the blah, blah, blah. Remember when they told us Baumia was the whiskey, you know, Baumia formerly known as the economic guru. Today he's a digitalization guru. This was the person who gave um, Vice President in Isata 170 <coughs> questions. Today, if we gave them those same 170 questions, none of them will be able to answer. And even Baumia himself is running away from the economy. They have bankrupted the economy. In fact, Ghana's economy is in a recession. We are not paying our debt. There's a free, we're in IMF with some serious IMF conditionalities. These were the people that told us that we would never go to IMF. Remember, we won't go to IMF today, we won't go to IMF tomorrow, we will never go to IMF. These are the same people that told President Mahama when he went to IMF that he was incompetent. So now, today, let's ask, is he more competent or he's even more incompetent? Or should we call him super incompetent? What happened to the taxes? Today, look at where our taxes are now. They are taxing um, Bola tax, they are e-levy tax, they, have, they are taxing gaming, they are taxing everything. They are taxing Ghanaians out of their monies that are supposed to be in their pocket. These were the people. President Akufuado was the man who did the Kumi Prakum because they were introducing VAT. Now today, what was VAT then and what is VAT today? President Akufuado is talking about unemployment. Only last week, the Ghana Statistical Services told us that we have 1.4 million young people from the age of uh, 18 to 35 who are unemployed in Ghana. Un youth unemployment is the most serious. What happened to NAPCO? What happened to um, NAPCO and National Service? They're not even paying them. You talk about incompetence. These, I'm only going by the criteria that he himself mentioned. You know, you see, back then we didn't know who he was. And back then he was bragging. Back then he was telling us he was a, a lawyer and he's this and he went to France and worked for Kude Brothers. I know people who worked for Kude Brothers back in the day and there was no lawyer in that law firm called Akufuado. You understand? But back then we didn't really probe him. So today I am blaming us Ghanaians. I'm blaming the civic society for where we are today. Going by his own criteria, he talked about appointment not based on merit. Which administration in the history of Ghana has hired more friends and family, has hired his cousins, his nephews, his nephews, nephews, his children's children, his ex-girlfriends, his ex-baby mamas to be in his administration? This man, if you heard him from the last time to today, I hope tomorrow he's not going to come and tell us more lies. You understand? This is the president who told us back then on your show that he was, uh, the healthcare system is in shambles. Back when he was saying those things, President Mahama was building UGMC. President Mahama was rebuilding the Accra um, Hospital, Ridge Hospital. President Mahama was building a Fari Hospital in Kumasi. President Mahama was building Dodua. President Mahama was building hospital in Kumewu. President Mahama was building the Aima, Aima in uh, Tema, the Tema Maritime Hospital. 
Those were the hospitals, including several chimps compound. When President Mahama was doing that job, this person was sitting there calling President the Mahama. Punch you see where he is today. Now today he has completely disgraced himself. Everything is a look at our educational system today. It's free SHS, poorly implemented. Now I have people in school that even parents have to buy food for the kids today, that every day bring them food at, in school. They, can't, they don't have textbooks. Basic school, they finished, they changed the curriculum three, four years ago, and they still don't have textbooks as I speak today. He only has 10 months to the end of an eight-year administration. And all these things I'm talking about that President Mahama did, he did all those things in less than three and a half years. So now, who is incompetent? <coughs> you regarding, see, he regard, was bragging. Regarding free SHS, when the secondary school started having their power being put out by the ECG, you know, we sought to find out exactly what the procedure is in terms of paying their, their, uh, their bills. And what we found out was that previously before the coming in of free SHS, parents were paying. You, you check their bills and you have the power payments. Free SHS takes over and free SHS was supposed to take on the payments of uh, their, their uh, yes. utility bills. So now I realize that so that's also now a burden on government with the implementation of free SHS. That also must be paid by the government. So now it's not the school's responsibility, neither is it maybe the parents' responsibility, but government's responsibility. So I think that the problems with free SHS is more than what we think. It's a lot more. It's the whole entirety of the implementation of this free SHS is bad. It was not thought for. You see, what they did was they did it for political gains. So it was the short term so that we can sit on air and say that we've done free SHS and they attributed everything to free SHS. So because of that, they didn't think through the processes. You are talking about utility bills. Utility bills is a problem. Food is a problem. The education itself is a problem. It has been watered down. The quality of education has been affected. When you go to some of these secondary schools, the dormitories, the, the facilities, the toilet facilities. I mean, it's the whole thing, implementation from top to bottom, is a complete disaster and is in shambles. And these are people who told us they could read and they were more smarter than quote unquote the NDC people, right? Who are now saying that review means cancel. You understand? So apparently they couldn't even speak or comprehend English back when they were bragging. So these are just a bunch of braggarts. Media College. Mansa Media College a school power a church TV so any radio so you may die. Ah ya sure kumase a tone suit. Baby, you will be out of the Mansa Media College. Now, the you may be a din honma. Yenti, you may be a din or a Mansa Media College. I said, who's here, baby, or media mu. And now, person who will be a media media home and stretch your cry. A Mansa Media College, oh, homa. You are at your chair for a while, quadri year, what the trim. Now, instead, you need a newsroom, dear. A ditchum, one some tremuno, your tree will be to say. Kasi ebo akenka ni sinicha ni bebua eke kahu wa multi media munso ya chwe bibi ti se sini unfoni S E C A unfoni nicha ni bebua eke kahu ya betu munso abua amau de na watu pe S U N A bibi wa inkita hundi e juma ahu do ni ne mu esa nse ya wa ya ankasa ya kasa foni nti abu biara. Yamaya, this young four coin, my uncle, your day, I trail on at this year, then moon. I shall for a moon. A camera is a obi biara or only bosom chair say any abacus of my far in suing who. Many above for a kid to be a ha or no so only my abacus of my far leg bosom chair. I was here for a mama car by a bagana pages TV so Emra son see at the trending issues near Coswell. I will add there for ten times feed any so a best some more. Me dean, Nanaji, what could you? A man sign media college. A mouth you will hear be our in Kutahundim.